If you're experiencing a widescreen issue when trying to access Discord on your web browser, there are a couple of things that might be wrong with the web browser itself, which is causing this issue. Now, the first thing that I need you to do is to go ahead and delete some of your browser cookies and cache and data and so on. So to do this um, on Microsoft Edge, click on these three dots in the top right corner and then go all the way down to settings. Or you could alternatively also select the delete browsing data option if it shows up in the menu for you. Now, once you're on this screen, make sure that you select cookies and other site data and cached images and files as well. You can select everything else, but that will just delete all of your other data related to other sites as well. Make sure that the time range is set to all time and then go ahead and click on the clear now button. This will clear all of the data in your browser and then you should be able to restart it and use Discord without any problems. If that doesn't help, chances are you need to check the hardware acceleration settings on your browser. So where while we're already in browser settings, I'm just quickly go ahead and search for uh, hardware. Now this setting might be called something else for you. So let's try searching for GPU that isn't available either. So we will just head over to system and performance. Then click on system and you will see the use graphics acceleration when available option show up. Now we're going to go ahead and disable it. And if this is already disabled on your system, you're going to go ahead and enable it. What this does is that it uses your GPU for rendering any graphics on the browser. And sometimes depending on what GPU you have and what driver version you're using, this can cause issues with websites. So if this option is already enabled and you're seeing this problem, you can try turning it off. And if that works, you need to update your GPU driver before you check this on again to get better performance. The next thing is to make sure that you are not using a VPN. If you're using a VPN connection to uh, access Discord or any other website, which requires you to sign in from a specific region, you can get run into problems where the website might not be totally accessible at all. This is also a good time right now to check for browser updates. If uh, something is caused by an issue in the browser itself, you can update the browser and hopefully fix that problem. Now to do this, head over to the three dots again, and this time we're going to the settings menu. In here, I'm going to go all the way down to about Microsoft Edge, and you should be able to see if there are any updates available to you. This applies to everything, whether you are using Chrome, Edge, Firefox, any browser, just make sure it's up to date and then try using again. If nothing else works, your best option is to try another browser. So as you can see, I'm opening up another browser, which is Zen in this case. And if I head over to the Discord website, you will see that it shows up without any issues on both of my browsers and I can scroll down and I can log in and open Discord on my browser and so on and so forth. Last but not least, on, although this uh, option may or may not work for a lot of people, you can try and use a different DNS. Now to do this, we're going to open up the start menu and search for DNS settings, uh, which might show up as Wi-Fi settings for you. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now here we are. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the manage hardware properties option right here. And then uh, in front of the DNS server assignment, which is set to automatic, we're going to go ahead and click on edit. We're going to change it from automatic to manual, enable IPv4, and now we can type in our preferred DNS option. Now uh, you can use anything. I'm just using Google's DNS. This 8.8.8.8 and the alternate DNS will be 8.8.4.4. .8 .4. Uh, you can try and use DNS from, uh, addresses from other services as well. I will have uh, some free DNS addresses on your screen so that you can go ahead and try them out. Uh, but that's about it. That's everything you can do to fix the Discord widescreen problem on your PC and get it up and running again. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Candido Technology, follow us on social media. And if these videos don't work out as well for you, you can try subscribing to our membership plans. That's it for today and we'll see you in the next video.